Hi everybody, today is February 14th, 2022, also known as Valentine's Day. But for the past decade, or 10 years, every Valentine's Day kind of it had a mournful connotation, a sad connotation to it. It all started early in the morning before the sun went up. I just remember my grandfather and mother being awake, and I didn't know what was going on, so I just went back to sleep. And right before I went to school, I asked them, so what, why were you up that early in the morning? And they both said, we'll tell you after school. So I went to Newport Harbor High School. I remember that day, and when I got home, my mom sat me on the couch and told me the news that my grandmother passed away early that morning. And I was just shocked. I mean, she was young. It was due to complications in surgery, and that's why. But again, I was in shock because I've had quite a relationship with her. We've spent maybe thousands of hours on the phone, instant messaging on AOL, I believe it was. Um, a lot of cards that she would send me and a couple of times she came to California because uh, she, there were hurricanes where she lived over in Texas and so I got to see her a few times in my life and my first time that I got to see her was back in 1996 during my uh, trip to Texas which is also on YouTube if you're interested in that. I just want to make a little tribute. Um, I'll never forget my grandmother. Um, later that evening I made a special uh, collage for her uh, about that so and then we attended the funeral service that Saturday in San Diego uh, it was a live stream from Texas so we couldn't be there for the funeral but at least we got uh, to see it live stream